In the following video, the Clinical Skills Lab of the University of Veterinary Medicine Hanover will demonstrate the subcutaneous suture. This is a continuous suture. It is sewn with one thread. A needle and thread, gloves, a needle holder, tweezers, scissors, and a suture pad are required for this exercise. The suture pad, as shown here, is intended to simulate the skin the red layer here being the subcutaneous tissue. First, one starts with a V-shaped stitch. This is closed with a surgical knot. The end of the thread is cut. If you are right-handed, you sew from right to left. When sewing, the right hand holds the needle holder with the needle and the left hand holds the tweezers. The needle is led parallel to the wound gap. The insertion of the needle on the opposite side is made approximately at the level of the previous exit point so that the thread runs slightly diagonally towards the wound gap when changing to the other side. Therefore, the overall suture is serpentine or meander-shaped. The curvature of the needle determines the depth of the puncture into the tissue and the course it will take at the edge of the wound. The subcutaneous suture is used for closing the subcutis. Therefore, an absorbable thread is used. The subcutaneous suture is placed in every form of operation in which the skin has to be closed again. In some cases, it is not done as a continuous suture, for example, when the wound is infected. If this is the case, the subcutaneous tissue is closed with single interrupted stitches so that the areas can be partially opened up again. In the end, the thread is not pulled through completely. A loop is left to close the suture with a surgical knot. The final stitches at the wound angle are performed deeper in the dermis, allowing the knot to be deeply buried in the tissue. When tightening the knot, make sure that the ends are directly opposite each other. This ensures a tighter fixture of the knot. When using a monofilament suture, seven knots are necessary. Monofilaments are relatively rigid. The end of the thread can be led through the side of the wound so that the knot is buried in the tissue. The thread ends are then cut short. In the layer above the subcutaneous suture, the skin is closed with a single interrupted suture or alternatively with an intracutaneous suture. 